Why is there always comedy tiny spatulas? Why? Sarah! Guys, welcome back to Sweet Tooth. Today we are making an absolute American classic. It is the mighty lemon bar. This leaves you with a gorgeous biscuit base or a pastry base topped with the most luscious lemon curd, all baked in the oven, leaving you with the most decadent sweet treat you've ever come across in your lives. Well, maybe you've found other decadent sweet treats, but this is a good one. So we're gonna start off with a very easy base to this. We've got a little bit of caster sugar. I've got some desiccated coconut for extra exotic flavor. I have some plain flour that goes straight into the bowl. And the great thing about this little method is you don't have to worry about making up a pastry or anything like that. It's a very all-in-one method. So I have some melted butter, which has cooled ever so slightly. We're gonna pour that straight in. And then using a spatula, I'm just gonna get in there and mix that up until we have a, a rough looking dough. Now, I have to be honest, lemon bars were not something I grew up with in Ireland. We've had lemon curd, and yes, I have many biscuit bases in my life, but this one is more of an American sort of sweet treat, and it's certainly one worth making because it leaves you with this mouth-puckering hit of lemon curd on the top, and then this warm and kind of buttery biscuit base, which is absolutely gorgeous. I keep saying biscuit base, but actually I mean kind of pastry base, essentially, which is what we're making now. I really should concentrate. So, mix this up, and as you can see, it kind of brings together a sort of like a, a wet sand sort of mixture. And the reason that's handy is because we're gonna actually press this into the mix. We're not actually gonna make up dough and then roll it out. We're just gonna press it straight into our lined baking tin. Now at this point in the game, you might be thinking this is never going to form a gorgeous pastry base, but stick with me, my friends. This is where the magic comes in. We're gonna take that lined baking tin. We're gonna tumble out all that sort of sand-like mixture. And then using a uh, back of a spatula or probably ultimately with my hands, we're gonna press that down until we have a nice smooth base. So take your time with this and just use the back of the spatula or you could even use your fingers and just tamp that mixture down. I don't know if tamp is a word. This is pretty much good to go now. It's gonna go into the oven at 180 degrees Celsius, that's 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and it's gonna cook off for about 15 minutes while we crack on with the lemon curd. Right, our base has cooked, cooled, and at this point now, you should be left with this beautiful golden base, which is ready for our lemon curd filling. So I'm gonna set this aside, and we're gonna get on with this lemon curd. So this is a very simple version because we're using a little bit of corn flour to stabilize it. And it starts off in the pot with all our ingredients. But first things first, I have three lemons that I wanna use the zest of. And before I slice them to use the juice, it's important you get the zest off. Otherwise, it becomes very tricky and highly complicated. So start off by zesting your lemons. When you are zesting, it's important that you don't go further than the white. So you're just getting the kind of top layer of that intense yellow color, which is where all those gorgeous oils and flavors are. Ah, yes, fresh, fresh flavor. And this is gonna be gorgeous in this lemon curd mix. So on with the heat in our pan. We're going in there with our sugar first, and then a little touch of water. We have four egg yolks going in, and the corn flour. So, it's all going straight in, and then you're gonna get in there with a whisk and give it all a good whisk up. Now, lemon curd takes a little bit of patience. We're gonna bring this up to temperature. It's gonna to come to a nice kind of steady simmer. You're gonna keep an eye on it, and we're gonna keep whisking, because it does have a tendency to kind of catch on the bottom. And once it does come up to simmer, I'm gonna keep simmering it for about 10 minutes, just until it starts to thicken. And then it's time for the lemon zest and a little touch of butter. Okay, this is now looking pretty good at this point, so I'm gonna start adding in our butter. I've got some cold butter, and I'm just gonna add a few cubes at a time and just whisk them until each one is melted. So this is a bit of an all-in-one lemon curd method. Because you're using the corn flour, it does come together nice and quick. So the last and key ingredient is the juice of our lemons that we've already zested. So I have the zest over to one side. I'm gonna slice these up and we're gonna basically juice them and then add them in. Okay, this is looking pretty good. I'm gonna pour this straight in and just strain off any of those pips. So we're in a pretty good place with this lemon curd. The last little ingredient is our lemon zest. Don't forget about that, so that goes straight in. 
Lovely fragrance from that lemon zest, so it's well worth adding here at this point. Now, at this point, with the lemon zest in there, this lemon curd is pretty much good to go, but because these are lemon bars and we want this to set up when it bakes off in the oven, I'm gonna add a touch of flour just to stabilize it out. So this goes straight in, and we're just gonna whisk this until smooth. So it does require a little bit of elbow grease, but you don't wanna over whisk that flour in there. So once it's nicely mixed through, we're gonna grab it up, we're gonna take that cooled base, and it's time to get it poured right over the top. So just smooth that over the top. And this is where your lemon bars come to life. This is now gonna bake off in the oven at 320 degrees Fahrenheit. That is 160 degrees Celsius, and it's gonna bake off for about 30 minutes. After which time, I'm gonna take it out of the oven, let it cool completely, and then set in the fridge for about two hours, and then it's time to serve up. Now, it does take a little bit of time, but once the lemon bars have come out of the oven, cooled completely, popped in the fridge for two hours, you are left with something that is ready to be served. It's a little bit of a labor of love, but I promise you this is worth the wait. So I'm just gonna transfer this out and hopefully we'll be able to basically slice these up nice and evenly. Unmold it from any of that parchment paper and a good tip to make sure that these look really pretty is to take off the edges. So a slice down the side. By doing this, you just get a nice even cut on these lemon bars and you get that nice exposed edge. And at this point now, it's a good time to take away any of that parchment paper. And now we are into Lemon Bar City. So we're gonna take up a little bit of icing sugar, and this is a nice way of finishing them off. You're gonna take a tablespoon or so of icing sugar, and you're just gonna use a little spoon to tap it over the top. Okay, we are good to go. So at this point, all you are left to do is slice this up into nice little lemon bars and serve. And now, it's the moment of truth. This is what I've been waiting for. It's time to dive in. Oh, I feel like I should cry a tear. <laughs> They're so good. I mean, that is exactly what you're after. It's this sort of lip puckeringly lemon hit that is just a smack of flavor. As always, if you want the full recipe, I will leave a link in the box below, which will bring you to my website where there's plenty of recipes just like this one. Delicious, easy, simple, and then some baking ones too. The full playlist for this sweet tooth series you will get in the box below as well. And leave me a comment letting me know if you're gonna try these gorgeous little lemon bars. Until then, my friends, click subscribe and I'll see you soon. Mm.